Sunday and time for another meeting. By the way, I we call this the 49er meeting, but if you are a Seahawks fan, I've had inquiries from Hawks fans and Raider fans, don't be scared. We're 49er fans. We're some of the most polite fans we provide. I mean, we make up for Never. the most polite Never. fan base in the Never. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> come on, Rumbo. Come on, man. Come on, Rumble. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, no I'm, way. We we should try to pretend to be nice until we get them here. I'm not pretending anything. No, no. I'm not pretending anything. Them. No way. <laughs> hey, when you come in here to see all the fans, you're going to get what? Raiders we, fans, you're going to get <laughs> Exactly. See, exactly. That's right. Provide, That's right, Norm. We, but we do provide a healthy argument. Listen, guys, here's the thing. You know, I watch Grant Cohn because Grant Cohn is not one of my favorite media people. Grant has said since the season ended, we haven't done diddly squat to improve the 49ers, except for we have, in fact, in some cases he says, we have downgraded, except for our coaching staff. It's the only thing that we have done a better job on, and I, I love his quote, the last year's coaching staff may have been the worst in NFL history. <laughs> the the oh Niners currently have a coaching staff full of young guys with futures, guys who will continue to coach after they leave the 49ers. There you go, man. Wow. I, let, 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 you know, Brandon wasn't here last week. Let's go to Brandon first. Brandon, how do you feel about such an assessment? Have we done nothing since the season ended to improve our situation? I have to completely agree with that. It's been horrible. Let Brandon finish. Brandon, amplify on that a minute, man. What is it that's so terrible that we've not done anything about? I mean, are you talking about free agency? What are you talking about here? We've done nothing in free agency. The only thing that I can see that we have done is that we've gotten Chip Kelly, and that is the only thing we've improved on. And even that was not the best decision. We also got that guard. Oh yeah, okay, and, and, and and we'll go down through players. But listen, you know what? The thing is that could be said about how many teams in the NFL. Everybody didn't make huge moves. So I kind of felt like Grant was picking on the 49ers. The Raiders got carried away. Jacksonville and, and, and New York, Miami, they all went to extreme. The Cardinals exactly. made a couple of moves. The Cardinals didn't make any more moves than we did. The Hawks, have the Hawks made a move yet? They've lost half the so. personnel. That, that's the Good. exciting part. They got Kears yeah. back. That the yeah. Hawks are going to be in worse shape than we are. There you go. Hey, see, so I'm feeling I'm feeling better about that already. Hey, guys, I, I, normally I run the thing. Who's got something you want to bring to the table right now? Because I, I got plenty to talk about. But who wants to? Who's got something to say? Uh, let's see. Who's Jake? Is it? Is that? Is that? That's a, is that the new yeah. one? Jake, man, you you got something you want to bring to the table today, man? What's up, Rombo? <laughs> um, I'd like, like to <laughs> talk about how we didn't get Sean Smith. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Go right ahead. Now, uh, what is your feeling on Sean Smith not being a 49er and instead being a Raider? Oh, that was that yeah, he went to the other side of the bay. That was pretty uh, unfortunate. I mean, I really wanted that guy. He would have been nice on our defense. He's a pretty good corner. I mean, uh, we got to stick with the young guys right now. Um. It would have been nice to have him. Uh, so, yeah, he would have been a nice pickup, but it sucks he went to the Raiders. Well, the Raiders offer, offered him a, a boatload of money. That's true. Yeah, like, I think it was 10 yeah. million. <clears throat> That's like right that. on yeah. you. You well, want to step on we, we were ready to do nine, I think. Get, get, get Andre up. Andre, Andre's Andre got something he wants to say on this. Andre, go ahead, man. What, what, what are you saying about this? Uh, yeah, the Raiders just paid... You know, to like more than we could afford. Uh, yeah. Afford Four years. I mean, we forty we mil. Could, we could we could afford it, but it's not a, a great price pickup. Uh, man, uh, I just want I kind of want uh, Cap already off the team, man. It. Uh, now, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let's go to Cap. Oh, you're saying Sean Smith was a bad value. Listen, you know what? Here's one thing though. <clears throat> No, if anybody didn't know why Smith said he didn't want to be a 49er, he said, and the question was, did the number of snaps defenders have to play on Chip Kelly's team 
factor in at all on oh, your decision. Yeah. So I'm right. by saying that definitely crossed my mind. No defender wants to be out there forever playing against Oakland in that offense. First of all, they're young and they're explosive, and I think that's something that's going to help this team to get along a long way. When we talk about the playoffs and championships and things of that nature, you definitely need a quarterback. That yeah, has the ability in that position, first and foremost, and I believe, I believe no, I I, that I Derek believe Carr that. is the man. I don't believe that. No. It, 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 okay, T, uh, yeah. Audrey, we'll come back to you. Tito yeah, yeah, yeah. seems to have something he wants to say about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tito, yeah. have the floor, please. The, that, that's all crap. It's all about the money. That's all it was. It was about no. the money. No, all right? no, no, no. Ten million dollars no. a freaking year, no. and they're paying that full. Come on, man. There's no, no. way they overpay for that kid. No way. <laughs> and if it was, uh, I will pay ten million dollars a year. For that kid from when the Giants got Jenkins, I think his name is. No, didn't. I, no, they gave him. They gave him a five-year forty. Who right? Prince? No. No, not Sean. <laughs> hell no, not him. Uh, the, kid, <laughs> <laughs> the kid that got from the Rams, the cornerback. Oh, yeah, Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Jenkins, yeah. I'll pay him. Mm. I will pay him up yeah. the front money for two years because that kid is twenty-six. I think he is. I will pay him. But she's made, no way I'm gonna pay him a lot of money. Come right. on, man. We can we, we can all agree that the Giants screw themselves up though. They, man, they, 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 they spent a load of money, bro. Right. Hold on, hold on, guys, because because when people interrupt, we, we we end up missing it. Who is that speaking right now? Oh, it, it's just me, me Tito, right now. All okay. I know is <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> right now is they overpaid for him. The Raiders they pay overpay for that kid, which I uh -huh, no way. I say. If we're going to get somebody, we got some young bloods in here. I mean, we didn't do all that, but we need pass rush. We, we, we killed our corners with no pass rush. I agree with that. It's like, bombs away. <laughs> with a sorry as staff we had last year. Come on. But Tito, that staff has improved. Tito, let, let, let me let me let me go to let me, let me Tito. Hold on, let me let me go to V I Z U L. Is that Visual? Oh, uh, Visual, Visual. There he is. Click him in. So he can. Visual. All right, let's, we'll we'll come back. He he may be having some kind of problem. All right. Yeah. No, okay, Ank is that yeah. A N K? Ank. Yeah. What's up, man? Ank, what's up, man? What's up, dude? So listen, we we just lost out on Sean Smith, and Tito says that he would have never paid him that much money. No. Would I, you I, yeah, have paid him that much money? I definitely would have. But the question is, does anyone want to come and play for us? You know what I mean? It's not There's a so matter of play, up. man. No, hold on, Tito. Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah. Let him finish. Like, I mean, he's worth it. Like. When you look at it in terms of our secondary, we have a lot of strength in our CFEs, but when it comes to our corners, we don't have that one true lockdown. You know, Tremaine Brock, I mean, in terms of the Harbaugh era, he used to be he used to be pretty consistent because we had Terrell Brown on the other side. True. But Tremaine Brock, I mean, he's been struggling with injuries, and also we don't have that true, like, lockdown number one that most, most teams, you know, seem to possess. So I definitely feel like Sean Smith would have been a great addition, like, given the cap space we had. But at the same time, but fans don't seem to understand that Trent Baalke won't won't dish out like 50 million deals. He won't ever do that because uh, a lot of people have been giving him a lot of slack. But the truth is, he's very smart. He's gonna wait till this draft, and that's where I feel like he's gonna address some of these issues on the team to the point where mm -hmm. we can be like the Raiders and address a couple of holes in our roster. But at this point, we have a lot we have a lot of places we can improve on both offense that and defense. See, and, and that's a very good point, and you're right. That, very good His point. Whole, whole, very whole good. Philosophy, hold on, Tito. Trent's whole philosophy is if I've got a front seven, I don't need to worry about my secondary. They could be mid-round talent to even low talent, and I can still do a good job. A, let, me, let me present this since we're talking about Trent. Is anybody concerned about Trent continuing to try to calm the Browns and Broncos? And no. do you wish he would rather quit, or shall he continue this no, he's this, not though. This game I thought he's not going on to get rid of Kaepernick. I thought make a trade for Kaepernick. I thought I thought, I thought he took a step wait, back. Let me, let me let me get one person on that first. Uh, who have we not talked to yet? Let, let, let's go to Will. 
Hey, Rambo, how's it going? Hey, all right, bro. So what was right, the question? Well, the question is, Trent has been carried on this game with the Browns and Broncos, and we all know that he's going to wait until the last day of the month. He's going to hold... He's going to dangle that carrot over the head, saying things like, listen, we'll just keep calling Kaepernick. I mean, it's not important to us to make this deal. We're doing you a favor, even making you this offer. So either come and get it or not come and get it. What are you going to do? And that's pretty much where I feel what he's doing, unless you see it working another way. I, I kind of see it like that, but I kind of see it working, too. At this point, with all the money someone else is going to have to pay Colin Kaepernick, the smartest thing the Niners could do with all the money that they saved is just take the $12 million hit on April 1st and trade Kaepernick on draft day. His value would yeah, be more than what it is now. It's kind of a, a disaster. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a disaster. I mean, either way, Niners can afford to take the hit, you know, so yeah, it doesn't true. really matter to them. They can afford to take the hit, and they don't want Colin Kaepernick either. And the guy I like, which we all know is golf, and he's starting to look better every day so mm. but that's only a show my man it's only a show in the pro day that's what he was doing just showing off things short lo a little bit long and all of that that doesn't mean nothing when you get into the pad in the nfl level that's when mm -hmm. you find out if you're a real player or not now, let me just say one thing about golf that's let true, me say Gito. one thing about golf you, you keep talking about he might not be ready like this in the pros, but this dude has better stats than Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, Blake Bortles, uh, you, all the top me, quarterbacks in the wait, league wait, coming Tito, out of college. So. Let him finish, Tito. I, I, I just don't see where people don't think this is going to translate into success in the NFL when he's beating out quarterbacks like Peyton Manning or Andrew Luck in their career of college in stats and I, I, yeah, and I mean, how many more times do the Niners fans and, and well, just Niners organization need to pass up on a quarterback who actually wants to play for San Francisco? We act like we have a huge option of quarterbacks right now that want to play for us. If you got a guy that's born in California wants to play for us, then let's do it, especially nah. if he's the best in the draft. <laughs> I, I, I say this. In the draft, you just said it there. In the draft, if you want to play – and you get drafted, doesn't matter what team you're on. You just want to come in and make a name and make sure you're number one. That's our true. team, our team, oh. we need help on defense, period. We have no pass rush. None Agreed, but we're not going to draft a rookie in the first pick that's going to change our whole defensive line. My the man, quarterback's man. more yes, impactful than you put, yes, Brother, you put Brosser in that front. That's going to change. You put I golf. Agree. I put you put golf <laughs> in the quarterback. He ain't gonna change anything. They're not gonna start him. Yeah, he's exactly. Gonna sit down. He's gonna sit down for one or two years. That's it. You put a rookie defensive end like the guys I name. They're there in the first place. They're gonna earn the job because I can guarantee you, if we fix our front defensive line, our cornerback is gonna be okay. You don't need yep. to be a big-time number one in the corner. Mm. If we take mm -hmm. care of the front, we'd be 100% great. Defense, baby. You could put Alex Smith. You could put um, whatever the hell that kid, um, what's his name? What's oh, God. Sorry, slow for you guys, too. All, all, all I know <laughs> is if we take care of our front in the defense, defensive line, we'd be doing the best thing for this team. That's pretty much. Yeah, that's that's Trent's philosophy. I, I do want to. I want to ask one more question though. Let me address this to Mark. Yeah, dealings between to... the dealings between Trent and, and two teams. Mark Mark Sanchez is being affected by this. RG three is being affected by this. Yeah. My question is this: If you're Colin Kaepernick after all this drama, do you even still want to play for the 49 South? If if all of a sudden I am wrong and everybody else is wrong and thinking that on the end of this month that they're going to say, "All right, Colin, we couldn't make a deal. You got to come back and play for us." If you're Colin Kaepernick and they say, "Colin, come on, man, we were just playing, man. Come on, let's go out here and win a Super Bowl." What is your What is your mindset going to be? Are you going to come out and play for the 49ers? Are you going to say, "Release me now, or I will make your life a living hell this season"? What are you going to do? Get your job back. He doesn't really have any other choice. He, he let me, does. Let me, let me, guys, let me get Mark first, and then we'll each one at a time take it. Mark, give me your answer on that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, 
Cleveland, I mean, it's kind of like out of the question because they already lost like so many players. Mm-hmm. And then Denver, they already signed Mark Sanchez, so it's not like Mark he has. Mark Sanchez yeah. isn't a starter. No, hold on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah let, let him finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, it's not like he has any other options of where to go and who would want to pick him up. Not unless Denver decides to pick him up and can pass him as a starter, you know. And I highly doubt that he would want to go to Cleveland still, even though they're losing linemen and. Yeah. We're, on our lines. We just signed um, the Canadian player last, I think it was two months ago, and then we just mm-hmm. signed the other free agent um, like this past week, so I mean, we're actually improving, so little by little. That's true. And, and no small. I mean, okay, look, Carlos just joined us. I want to ask Carlos as well. Hey, Carl, Carlos, you've been here. Hey. Carlos, now, the thing is, you're Colin Kaepernick. Don't you have an advantage if you say, listen, Screw you guys. I don't want anything more to do with you. I'll go out and make my own deal. If you're Colin Kaepernick, is that a better option than hanging around and, and trying to learn Chip Kelly's new offense? Or can you go somewhere where maybe you might be a bigger star than I mean, I don't, be disrespected any further? I don't really know. It just really depends. It has. It depends on Chip Kelly, the way he um the way he has to like coach him. If Kaepernick, if Chip Kelly could convince Kaepernick with, I guess, the style of play or how he could make him a good quarterback, then probably Cap will probably stay. But it's, in my opinion, it's in Chip Kelly's hands. So you're, you're yeah. saying his powers of persuasion should be able to bring him back, huh? Yeah. Let me, this, this round, are you, are you are you live on your mic now? Yeah. All right, let's it. Right, let's let me get Jake. Jake. Yeah. Chime in yeah. on that one, man. Call it your um, Colin Kaepernick. You've had enough of the 49ers messing with you. They tried to deal you. They made you sit on a bench last year and embarrassed you in front of thousands of fans. What are you, are you going to come back and play for this team? Well, to be honest, this is basically his last option. I mean, what is he going to do? Uh, he would have to get a pay cut to go to another team. So basically, we're his last option. Chip, I believe, can revive his career, and I think that he should really look into – Chip's coaching system because that could really help him. You know, like it would work with the way that he plays quarterback, running, play action, all that. He's not a pocket passer. And I think that Chip can work really well with him not being a pocket passer, like throwing on the run. Yeah. Cool. Let's, Let's have a system you know, quarterback. You know, let me, let me, I want to ask everybody, give me, give me your interpretation of Chip Kelly's offense. <clears throat> I wonder if there's, if all of us agree on what. Mark, you're up now. I mean, I mean, uh, it's. it's Jake, yeah, Jake, you're up now. Yeah. Give me your description or define Chip Kelly's offense. What do you think it is? Uh, I would have to say it's like kind of abstract to other offenses, like you know, in New England, uh, they. It's kind of hard to explain, honestly. Uh, Fast. Offense. It's more of like a college offense. They kind of keep you on your right, toes. Hold on, guys. Cause, cause, hold on, because I want to. I'm, I'm. I want to compare everybody. What everybody thinks about this offense and what it defines as. All right, now, Jake. Look, that's 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 pretty much Jake. Carlos. Yeah. What is it? What is your idea? What is what is Chip Kelly's offense to you? I think it's kind of simple, but like in a generic way in like a fast pace, but the plays are, are kind of simple. And there's a lot of play action, there's a lot of bootleg, and stuff like that. There's not that many plays where Kaepernick would have to stay in the pocket. And I think that's best for him. All right, now, now, now Andre. Yo. Out of your idea, what does Chip Kelly's offense look like to you? To no huddle offense. And? Yeah. The Houston Oilers. Hey, hold on, Tito. Andre, what, 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 the reason I ask this question is, do you guys think that the main impetus on this offense is to be able to run? Is it about the mobile quarterback, or is it about? Uh, I think pass. it's more about. It's more about keeping the defense tired. Yeah. Than it is about running or any of that. Who's uh, defense? What do you mean? The, Opposing team's defense. 
And they ours would but, doubt. Okay, but how, how's that an advantage, though, Andre? That's the point of it. Because if they're tired, they're not going to. If we tire them out three plays in or something, and they're trying to get substituted out, uh, and you throw a long ball, you know, 50 yards down the field, the cornerbacks and safeties might have a little more trouble keeping up with your receivers or whatever. That's kind of true. I like that. That is true. And that's that's the point of it. Um, but I don't know how good Cap's going to do in it, and I, I don't know. I don't know if he's even gonna be in it. I don't know. Uh, okay. Really okay. Well. we'll get back to that. I just want to see your definition of, of Chip Kelly's offense, because I wonder. Because I'm I'm asking people about that all the time. I've been reading on it. Okay. So Brandon, yeah, define yeah. the Chip Kelly offense. I I think it's more power run based. It's gonna be uh, an overall uh, running back based offense where we and also no huddle, less of a huddle, rushed offense. Um, quarterback will come into play with a lot of runs, but we'll also have the deep passes by surprise. But the only yeah, way that, that too. the only way that offense works is if we have a strong offensive line to protect our quarterback and make holes for our running backs and fullbacks. See, you read the same thing I read. It's about zone and scheme blocking, and the only time the quarterback really takes off. He's almost defined as a blocker. He takes off depending upon what the linebacker does. If the linebacker commits, then he dishes off. If the linebacker stays yeah. home, the quarterback is out of here. I mean, that's that's pretty much what I read. Tito, you you define what you think it is. It's almost like in the old days and uh in the Houston Oilers game, run and shoot. Basically, it's that. It's fast pacing. Period. It's just everything. It's almost like a timing thing. If Colin Kaepernick just shuts the hell up, stop with that crying bullshit, <laughs> then wants to go to another team because everybody knows it's all bullshit. Because yeah. he he came out and said, I want to go to the Browns. Now he wants to go to Denver. That's a different subject. We'll Jets. talk about that later. Jets. Yeah, he want to go there because his bitch girlfriend's over there. But, <laughs> but the bitch, <laughs> The rain thing That's is, it, is a timing, fast-paced scam. I mean, it'd be great for Colin Kaepernick, to be honest with you. I don't think that a backup, whatever his name, I, I, I just Boy, don't like him. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's good for that. But if we can get another kid in the draft in the second round, maybe, third? Vernon Adams. I like him, but if we can get that kid in there, he can learn. But my, my thing is... Like I said, the offensive line. We just signed this this kid from uh, Jacksonville, and he's not so bad. No, he's but, a pro uh, bowler. Yeah, we just need a, another one. I mean, we gotta get our offensive line fixed, maybe in the draft, because um, there's nothing else out there. We be still get with Luis you. Vazquez off Denver. He's a free agent right now. Uh, it depends if he wants to freaking uh, come over here. But you know our general manager, that freaking scumbag, <laughs> yep. doesn't want to spend money. True. <laughs> but uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, he always never spend money on guards. Now, tackles, he doesn't mind. Because you know it's hard to find a good left tackle or even a right tackle. It's hard yeah. to find those boys. But yeah, guards. And, and, and they are the ideal pickup. So I want to get one more definition on Chip Kelly offense. Will, let me, let me hear your, your offensive uh, de definition of Chip Kelly football. It's hard to define whether it's pass or run because, I mean, I've seen, what, a weak-ass quarterback and Nick Foles throw seven touchdowns in that offense. So <laughs> it, it, it's kind of intriguing. I mean, not that I'd want to have to start Blink Gabbert, but, I mean, if Nick Foles could throw seven touchdowns in that offense, then... Maybe we're not so bad at quarterback, but uh, That's true. another thing though, the only the only downside to that to that offense, whether it scores or it comes off the field on a three and out, is like he said, someone said earlier, the defense gets tired. Well, it's our defense gets tired because they're out on the field every other fucking play. So excuse my language. Yeah. That's so true. like. That, that's the only thing I'd be worried about. But, I mean, I, I think it could possibly be one of the best offense in the NFL at the moment. I mean, like I said, when you see someone like Nick Foles throw seven touchdowns or 
three different running backs in Philadelphia scoring touchdowns oh, and Marco yeah. Murray, Ryan Matthews, and Spurls. So kind of excited. Kind of excited. Can't define it whether it's a pass or run or if it's, you know, play. I, I, I couldn't tell you, but uh, whatever it is he's doing, you know, I think it's just pretty much based on whatever defense he's going against and the best place for that day. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I got to really, agree with that. Chip does what, what, whatever the weakness whatever weakness a team has, he takes advantage of it and exploits it. If you got a bad secondary like Pittsburgh did last year, he's bombs mm-hmm. away the whole time. If you're yeah. the Cardinals and you have a yeah. problem with the run, they're going to run you. Yeah, this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, finish it, man, finish it. Yeah, no, go ahead. It, it, it's all right, go ahead. Uh, the other thing that I like is this coaching staff. If you really noticed it, I mean, these guys are just basically sitting down eating each other's mind up and pulling up some bug down scams, and that's what they were talking about. I mean, a lot of people are saying that we picked up this guy from the offense corner, a defensive corner from the Browns. You can't knock him because, number one, these are the Browns. And and the offensive uh, corner we got, I forget who uh, we got it from. Buffalo. Curtis Motkins. Curtis Motkins from the yeah. Lions. He was Lions. the running back coach. I oh, mean, yeah. I, yeah, I think with the combination with all of them, I think this offense is going to be a freaking pretty good. But it's going to like, fool a lot of people. You're right. Yeah. This, this is why I keep telling people, 49ers aren't going anywhere. You guys might win three or four games at the most. I don't <laughs> understand. We, we had talent last year. We just didn't have anybody who knew how to run the talent. It, it, That's it, true. It's ludicrous to even think that way. Yep. I got another question, though. I have a feeling also that Trent's whole thing, his M.O. on this, if Cleveland deals – with the 49ers, they may or may not go for a quarterback, which may be above all else. The 49ers are trying to make that deal. That would put golf or Wentz. God knows. We don't know which one they like the best because they're just not showing their hand. It puts both yeah. teams basically right at their feet. Yeah. But you know what? This is going to be scary, though, for us in draft day. They yeah, pick up a you. defensive player. They pick a defensive player. Um, Borsa's gone. Button is gone. Uh, Mac is gone. And then it comes to us. It's a shit. You got Wigley, the quarterback, whatever his name is. Golf is there. Harvard. Uh, Treadwell is They'll there. They'll probably the get Treadwell. And wide receiver is no. there. Then we got two quarterbacks and a wide receiver. Who the hell are we going to get? There's Vernon Harvard. Dude, we're not. I don't think we're ever going to take. I don't think Buckner's going to go before seven, though. Nah, really? no, no, no. What if, about Bosa? That's what Bosa's I'm talking overrated. about. Yeah, but if the Browns take, <laughs> if the Browns doesn't take a quarterback, if the Browns doesn't take a quarterback and he takes, they take a defensive player, then we're gonna have a problem when it comes to our pick. They won't though. They won't. That's true. They, they're gonna have to. Now, if the Browns come out, we give them Colin Kaepernick for a third round, like they said. They say, fuck it, give me that prick over here. Hey, 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 hey. so Tito, you're saying <laughs> that the 49ers are going to make a deal on the day of the draft, I guess. I, I, yeah, I kind of feel like that might happen, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, because all this is a, uh, it's a waiting game. Somebody's going to be Tito. hitting the finger and call up, and that's it. Yeah, let me let me let me let me get Ank A N K Ank. Hey, uh, Rombo. It's actually uh, I'm actually the guy from Instagram. I'm the SF 49ers dude. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Back. Say it again. You're what? I'm that I'm that guy on in Instagram. Uh, see what's my username? It's SF 49ers underscore news. Oh, uh, this is just some random account that I. It's like uh, I was talking about the. We were talking about the whole Bosa thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Sorry, you can ah, just okay. yeah, you can just call me. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I can you, I can call you. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> didn't hey, introduce hey, myself hey, before. Glad you made it, dude. Thanks. Listen, I'm, I'm, well, well, I want to. Well, let me run this by you then, because draft analysts are saying no matter what you see or hear with the 49ers, <laughs> if Chip Kelly keeps looking at Jared Goff, and I understand he was totally happy with what he seen the other day at Pro Day. You're going to push Trent toward grabbing golf. You on board with that? With golf? And, oh, by the way, his hands have measured to nine, nine and one eighth now. Now, yeah, they, they messed up <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but he got it to go out another eighth of an inch. Oh, why, wow. I don't understand for a guy who's no, not no. They say They say uh, they messed up at the combine. That's what oh, I was it was always nine and an eighth. 
Oh, yeah. wow. So, right, so, you're, so ask, you're asking me if I'm good with golf? Yeah. The uh, question is, will Colin Kaepernick be on the roster? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, okay, good. You bring up somebody. If Colin's on the roster, do you still want golf? No. Uh, I'd say... Somebody's got... Wait, hold on a second, guys. Somebody's playing a radio or a television. Can I please get you to kill that volume? Please. <laughs> hold on a second. Radios, TVs, can't have guys. It causes an incredible echo. Yeah, that's okay. true. I go, okay, good. And, and go ahead and finish, man. I'd probably you're, you're, you're feeling about whether or not, if we have Colin Kaepernick, is it a good idea to have Jared Goff on the team? No. I, mm. I'm, I'm saying this when I'm looking into the future. Goff isn't going to be the only life-saving quarterback that analysts are going to drool over. There's definitely going to be more <laughs> quarterbacks in the next, next year, too. Uh, oh yeah. Sean Watson's also one to look at, but like I like to agree. I don't know who said this before, but defense is something I'm definitely concerned. With. Forrest Buckner, really good defensive end. I'm, I'm oh, really happy him, and also Miles Jack. Miles Jack yeah. is like it's either yeah. Miles Jack or Ezekiel Elliott. I think they're going to be the best players coming out of this draft, but we don't really we don't really need Elliott. But I think Miles Jack is definitely someone trend ball. He's a trend ball guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I hear that Miles Jack, he can play like five positions, something like yeah. that. <laughs> because if you also look in the past, Trent Baalke hasn't, he doesn't really go too high on quarterbacks either. He's very cautious in terms of um, who he takes in the first <laughs> round. Also, uh, if anything, there's always a late round quarterback we can always take, like Dak, Dak, Dak Prescott, I don't know his name, and also Vernon Adams. They're always, they're always there too in the late rounds if we ever need them. Yeah, Vernon Adams. Everyone, uh, those, everyone's sleeping on Vernon Adams because of his height. He's only like five eleven, but he's got a nice arm and he can run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's compare those two to uh, golf because they're totally the same kind of quarterback. Yeah, pretty yeah. Much. But the thing Ooh. is, again, guys, we need defensive play up front. Okay, yeah. I mean, to me, I'll be honest. Even with Colin Kaepernick here or not. We could always get another quarterback in the late round. It's the well, same can't. thing. Oh, the same the thing. Same They're gonna sit down on the sideline, on the clipboard, pick it on the mic. Oh, Here's I gotta problem learn how to do this. Come on, man. Realistic. If it's not Here's a quarterback, the if that. that's not a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, I mean, the day we drafted Alex Smith, my dad, I pushed the shit out of the damn TV, man. Yeah, yeah. You want to do that again? You want to go God, through that please. again? And everybody so got a hard on for this kid. Come on, man. Be a realist. Yeah. We need defensive player. Period. Up front. That's what I've been we saying, also Tito. Need a quarterback. Ninety-six yeah. touchdowns. Ninety-six touchdowns. Again, in his it career. could be a hundred touchdowns in college. <laughs> it's not you the know, NFL, man. You know Come who on. had a hundred touchdowns in college? Derek Carr, and look at how he plays in the NFL. That's okay. Pro Bowl is not okay. It's not okay. We it's okay. If we had Derek Carr, the only reason, if we had Derek Carr, we'd be a better team. The only reason that uh, we messed up, well, reality, they messed up Colin Kaepernick. He took less money for us to sign players. They benched his ass. We didn't have a, a better offensive line. We got, uh, got whatever his name is came in to uh, starting the quarterback. Gabbard. Yeah, Gabbard. The <laughs> offensive line started to get better. Everybody knows that. I mean, I know you got a heart on for this kid, but you know what? Forget that. Oh, we, 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 we all got to know one thing. When it comes to draft day, I could be wrong. You could be wrong. They could get somebody else. We know. Because Trent Barkley, all he does is either get a fucking receiver that suck ball, or somehow he's talking to oh, everybody and scratch your head. Uh, Who the fuck is this kid we drafted? I we don't we dra- know what the hell's going to happen. Uh, Tito, are you, you a New Yorker? Tito, Tito, Tito huh? let, let, let's somebody, let somebody else have the mic for a minute. Okay. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> bad. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, man. All right, Mark, Connor Cook, they gave him a private workout. I also want to know, have you ever heard about a quarterback out of Buffalo named Joe Licata? He's got, he no. had a private workout as well. Never heard of him. Uh, Never heard of him. Just opinion. Three-year. Three-year full-time star at Buffalo through 69 TDs, 34 interceptions, not spent, 61% completion rate, 62. Or she's six foot two, 215, and he. 34 interceptions. Nine. Yeah, I know. I kind of. I kind of. I, I was trying to figure out why, and that was, that's what I wanted to bring. 
why would Trent be scheduling a private workout with this guy? I was, I was wondering. My yeah, investigation has led me nowhere. I was wondering if anybody's ever heard of him. quarterback, yeah, possibly. Give me, give, give me, let, let me, who did I call for? Let, let's get Mark to answer on that first. Well, basically, I mean, he clearly, I mean, since his draft, he's pretty much defensive. Like, I mean, we all know that it's been, it's really strong on defense, so I'm pretty sure that's what he's focused on. Um, you seen? I think it was Chip Kelly that was work um, at the pro day for Matt, and he was there. I mean, it's really defensive, strong-minded, and so we're probably gonna go defense. I know it, everybody wants to go get golf and everything, and it would be a smart move. But since it's really deep on defense. Why not take a defensive player, you know, first round, and then later on, whatever quarterbacks are else available later on in the draft. And that's probably what he's going to do. Because yeah, this is what sucks for us. We got the number seven. Trent, Trent is, is petrified of going in the first round. Does anybody ever remember when Trent has ever grabbed a quarterback in the first round? Even Colin Kaepernick was not a first-round pick. He's never had the top opportunity. There's never been a quarterback yeah. worth it at the pick where he's needed to take it. And at the time, we've had Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick, so there's no point. Mm -hmm. All true. I'm saying is... Where, 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 where do we pick up Alex Smith? First we picked him up in 2005, but he wasn't, yeah. oh, he wasn't nice. our general manager yeah. back then. We had a different Scott. general manager. Scott. Did we? Yeah, we yeah. did. Oh, okay. Oh. He was probably the way better general manager. You look at his draft picks compared to uh, Balky's, and it kind of seems like we dumped a better GM for a no, week or one. Dude, he took Alex Smith over Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, that was retarded. <laughs> but but that the great, was, that the was. great Bill Walsh, the great Bill Walsh took Brian Kamarzi over Tom Brady back in the day. So I, I mean, that yeah. a lot of people I fail. A lot that. of people get it wrong. I mean, you know, it happens. <laughs> Tom Brady's not even that good. <laughs> oh, he's not. He's, he's not. so so. <laughs> he's not. I could give you a thousand reasons why he's not that good. Who? Go, give me, give, give, you Tom know what? Brady. I like that. I like that. Give me one, Carlos. Give, give me two. Right. In fact, right? He doesn't. He doesn't Hold read on, guys. defense. Let Carlos, please, guys. Let Carlos have it for a second. Go for it. He Carlos. doesn't. He doesn't read defense. It's just Belichick telling him what to do. He throws slants. No. He throws drags. What have you I seen him do a nice that. play? What have Hold you seen him be in the top ten for doing a Bill uh, deep throw? Can, Bill oh, Belichick's in control of his arm strength. I didn't. I didn't know he was in control. Arm strength. He doesn't throw the ball. He lobs it up. He lobs it up to Gronkowski. That's all he has to do. He just has to lob it up. Contest that's yeah, everybody he's can like contest this. Please, what are you guys? Please. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. One Come person, man. You, Take it you'll easy. You'll get your shot. I promise you, you'll get your shot. But please, let Carlos finish, and then one at a time, we'll pick him off if you got to do it. All right, Carlos, that was that was one. Is that two? Um, yeah. The second, well, the first one was yeah. Belichick just tells him what to do. He doesn't. He just follows what Belichick tells him to I'm do. Done. Second, I'm sorry. he doesn't guys, have an wrong? arm. He doesn't have an arm. He just he throws it up to Gronkowski. What? He lobs the ball up. All you have to do is lob it up. It's Gronkowski. Of course he's going to catch it. Edelman, every reception Edelman gets is either a drag or a, or a quick slant. He doesn't do anything impressive. Tom Brady does not impress me. He's very unathletic. He's not that good. He's decent. He's decent. Good point. That's it. Uh, 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 no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Whoa, 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 guys. Host. All right, who's going to go first? Uh, yeah, oh. Mark, hold on. You sit back and get ready for this. All right, who's got, Tito? You got you going first? Yeah, go ahead, all I'm gonna Tito. say Tito, is simple. But, but, but just make it quick. Okay, all I'm gonna say is this. I mean, if you really check out the players that were free on, agents, a lot of them, right. when they became free agent, they didn't do too well with other teams. I mean, it could be a system. It's the system. Mm -hmm. That's what I could say. It could be the system because a lot of players. Either they got traded or went free agency. They didn't do. They didn't do well at all. So to me, it could be a system. I mean, so 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 so. Tim, you said Tom Brady is a system quarterback. No, yeah, I'm not. I, 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 I it's, it's yes or no because to me, I'll be honest with you. I, I like I like Tom Brady. I can't okay. stand him when we play with each other. I can't stand him, motherfucker. 
But still, you gotta get, it could you be get a system, though. You're going to get a chance to hate him next year. I, 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 oh, who, else had, who else had an objection to, uh, to Mark's assessment of Tom Brady? I think oh. I heard Will pretty much protested pretty heavily on that. Will, you want to contest as to why Mark has not come up with a full truth. Well, I, I mean, I agree with Mark. I mean, I don't think Tom Brady is the greatest athlete uh, yeah. in the world or don't anything you like my that. Hair, you guys here. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, uh, he, Bill Belichick's not, you know, capable of making his body work. So, I mean, you know, I mean, Tom Brady's still throwing those passes in the same spots they need to be in with the same strength of arm touch at the age that he's at. And, I mean, you could say what you want, but, I mean, the Patriots must trust him because they just signed him to a two-year extension, which means he's there for four yeah. more years. So, I mean, if Bill Belichick were that good, he'd take another quarterback already and do it with him. Of course, Tom Brady knows the system already, so it's easier, but still. I mean, obviously, Tom Brady possesses something a lot of other quarterbacks don't have. I know yeah, why, I agree with that. And I know why did you have a problem with Mark's assessment? Of the incredible Tom Brady. Oh, about Tom Brady, Rambo? No, Tom Brady's a good quarterback, man. He's solid. He's a, he's a legend. He's going to go down as a legend. But um, does he have a wimpy arm, and is he completely a puppet of Bill Belichick? Uh, I mean, you can could, you could make that argument about any successful team and coach and quarterback. People say the same thing about uh, Joe Montana. Uh, he was a system <laughs> quarterback under Bill Walsh. <laughs> but, mm. I mean, it's just like, yeah. I mean, arguments can be made both ways. I, I think Tom Brady's a good quarterback. I, I would love to have him on the Niners, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, hmm. that is. I would love yeah, to have him. Emilio. He decision making. Well, yeah, that, and, and, and he's, I, he could get rid of that ball quick. Emilio. You ever heard, you yeah. that? Is, is Tom Brady, is he somebody you'd love to have on the 49ers? Or is he just a guy that's gotten over on an incredibly good or well built system? Well, I, was shitting, I don't like the guy at all, so to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cheater. Hey, uh, he's not be- I just say he's not better than Jill. Don't mind. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah, better, they, 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 Joe Montana's they, the goat. Oh, they, they, they keep no better. Joe. Nobody's better. Nobody's yeah. better than Joe. Nobody. They keep, they Nobody. Keep he, he, win, he wins games. He doesn't win games, man. Oh, Super, sure. Every Super Bowl, his kickers win the goddamn game. Let, until <laughs> I see a pass like Joe, like from Joe to Rice, then I can say, yeah. You can see he had his chance with Randy Moss, and what happened? He didn't do it. So until I see that, then I can say, hey, he's a winner. He's a number one. But no, until you can do what Joe did, then I can say Tom Brady. I don't like Tom Brady. So to me, he's a bum. I've been to this since day. In some of those Super Bowls, so, he... Same shit. He, oh, my bad, my bad. No, he, no, no, no. His kicker, kicker. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, kicker won the game, not he Jerry Rice. Right. Not game. his receiver. No, his kicker won the games. He can stretch that out. Kicker. Oh go. yeah, tuck rule. The yeah, there, there you go. Charles Charles Wilson. 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 Not robbed. So that's five. I can count them five times. So. And you know what? Okay, guys. Now, now, Josh. And Josh, how do you feel about Tom Brady? You've seen enough of him recently, at least. Have an opinion about it. This is like Josh is down in the land down under. This is going to be an interesting assessment. Now, Josh, what is your <laughs> feeling about who New England believes is the G-O-A-T of football as far as quarterbacks go, Tom Brady? I'll agree with the um, – as far as the modern era goes, he is the uh, one of the goats. But as far as all time, I don't think so. I think uh, Joe Montana, because um, – when he when he uh, assumed the role of 49ers quarterback, I don't I don't think the 49ers were as uh, a strong team, were they? During the time when when Montana was okay. yeah when he when he first got into the uh, quarterback. Oh, you're right. You're right. When Joe first came on, no, the the 49ers had not. No, they did. They had a uh, Steve DeBerg was opposite Joe Montana. They were shuttling back and forth. They couldn't. They couldn't figure out who they wanted to start. And Joe finally took over. You're right. Yeah, they were stuck. We're talking yeah, about two that's, wins. That's, that's, that, that's the thing that separates Montana from Brady. The fact that Montana has been built for 49 years into a, a franchise. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. There you go. Tom Brady uh, only deserves two rings. Yeah. I think yeah. He's maybe. Maybe. Adam Fantasieri. I I we champions. He got real lucky on his last Super Bowl win, I'll tell you that. 
How yeah. about we be thankful for that, though? How about wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm so thankful for that. that. Who said Joe got lucky? I, I, I said I we did. should be thankful for that, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. I mean, I'm not going to get mad at Tom Brady for beating Seattle. Come now. If anything, he's got a special place in my heart for that. <laughs> Mine still. <laughs> was it I, Russ, or was Russell dumb enough pretty. to throw the pick? It, it don't matter Carol who won the game. He the threw call. the touchdowns. He, yeah, I mean, either way, I don't care. He he beat him, so yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, he didn't Seahawks beat him. He cheated. He cheated them. Brandon, get get you back in here for a minute. Hold on, guys. Wait, let me let me run this. It's dope or whack time. NFL rumors: San Francisco 49ers. I Robert Griffin the third. RG three chooses oh, Jared Hain. Oh. Carlos Hyde over Mark Sanchez and Vaughn Miller. Brandon, do you want anything to do? With RG3, no. should things go really no. south between now no. and April the 4th? Could you stand it? No. I, I, no. I would not. Oh, that would kill me. No. No. <laughs> no. That's just whack. That's, so, you, so you're that's saying whack. RG3 is finished in the NFL? No, but I don't think he'll be with the Niners, and I don't think he'll be a backup for us either. So. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you say we Dylan don't... Thompson would beat him out if they sat him on our bench? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. RG knee no, is injury I, prone. I, I would, there's some. There's some I serious take, hatred out there for RG three. I just wanted to collect it. Go ahead, Brad, I'm take, sorry. I would take Cody Keys, or if we drafted him in around the seventh round or so, I would take him over RG three. <laughs> so, honest to God, I would. The Browns are talking, uh, checking RG3 now. The Browns mm -hmm. are checking on him. We tried to. Uh, I thought he got signed already by the Browns. Nah. Wait, wait, wait. No. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. No, no. Is, that, is that breaking news? No. No. I don't know. Oh, oh no, I know. I, I was reading. So. I was reading about uh, the Browns are checking, inquiring, uh, what's all RG about. So they're checking all that. They didn't sign him. That's for sure. And uh, him in the 49ers. No way. Why the hell do we want no. him for? Son no, not him, him start, not Manziel. He doesn't Manziel. even know how to even to slide. That's why he got no. hurt. I, I think that uh, okay. I think RG3 will probably land in, in the Jets, most likely. Assuming Fitzpatrick does not resign. Isaiah Banning, go to him now. You know what? I, 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 that sounds about right. Let me, let me, let me run this. Let me go back to, uh, let's go to Wyatt on this one. Wyatt, Lance Dunbar. Lance Dunbar, the Dallas Cowboys. The 49ers were actually looking at Lance for reasons I can't even imagine. <laughs> I think they were concerned about the fact that Carlos Hyde's durability. We're wondering about if that's going to hold up or not. And and that's my question. Is Carlos Hyde really going to be as valuable as he was in game one against many last year? And so the Trent's got a tradition each and every year. He brings a running back back out of the draft. Yeah. Should Trent continue that tradition this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind it if it's in, like, the late rounds and we've, we've met pretty much all of our knees and grabbed the best players. Third, fourth round? Uh, more I'd be more down. happy in, like, fifth. Yeah, more down, like, the fifth. Mm, down yeah, the fifth, fifth, fifth sounds good. We just need to focus on defense in those middle rounds because that's where uh, bulky prospers yep. in those yeah. middle rounds. That's true, Why? You know, but, and, and, yeah, I am concerned on Hyde's durability, uh, Drone's durability, uh, Harris. I'm not sure. Did he get hurt last year towards the end? No. No. Uh, he, 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 he just made a lot of different teams. Anyway. Uh, Davis, he got hurt, he, but he broke his hand or something. So, um, yeah, I mean, picking up another running back certainly, like, would help. You see, this is reasons. one of the reasons why I like the fact that Jared Hayne is going to look a lot better than he looked last year. Hayne doesn't seem to get hurt. Uh, they, hit him so yeah, hard. Weird. they hit him so hard one time that I felt that as I was watching on television. <laughs> Eric jumped up and went right back to the line of scrimmage. And then he said later that he did feel that. But we're talking about a guy who never, ever took a hit like that with pads on. And he still stood up and kept playing. And they didn't run him through the protocol. So, you know, I'm... Uh, Maybe he's just that tough. That's what I'm thinking. He needs more reps. Is, I think Tim Barkey loves to draft quarter uh, running backs in the late rounds. I mean, if we're going to get one, 
there's a lot of running backs out there. I mean, a lot of them, oh, yeah. a lot of teams just grab the freaking grab them in the late rounds. The only one that they had uh, top notch, well, I forget his name. They got the Cowboys drafted him, which is I'd be happy they drafted the, run, uh, the running back, the Cowboys. Then we can get one of those studs down here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> true. But, but um, I think we do should get a, a running back because I'd be worried about that too. Mhm. Let me, let me, let me. Where's Emilio? Emilio. Emilio, are you gonna, are you picking up Jalen Smith in round four if he's still available? That me. Too big a risk. I don't know. I mean, that really honestly don't know. I don't even, I'm still stuck on who we're going to get the first round. That's the most important thing. This is either going to be defense or it's going to be our quarterback. Or one of the two. So, I, really, I can't even say what we're going to do from there. I don't want, I want to know what we're going to do. It'd be good to already, every, we already would know what we're going to do. But as it is now, not one person knows what we're going to do. Right. That's yep. the problem. Hey, okay. Rumble. Yeah. Who's that? It's Jake. Jake, go ahead, Jake. What about Scooby? Don't get me started on Scooby, man. I'm telling you right now, the pro days, the pro day tour goes to Arizona <laughs> next week. Scooby Wright the third is going to be waiting. I tell you what, that boy's motor goes 100 million miles an hour. He's ruthless. He just keeps pursuing. I, every time I watch his clips, I say, "Let's see that dude." The dude has 49 written all over him. You put him next to Navarro Bowman, oh, there's about three guys to put next to Navarro Bowman, and he's one of my main candidates. Tell you, what are your feelings oh, yeah. on Scooby Wright? Um, oh, who, who's, oh, is that uh, you, my Jake? You're the one, yeah, you're, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, I think that Scooby is really aggressive. I think that uh, he could help out with our linebacker core, of course. Um, I like his size. He has good speed. I think that we could really use him on the squad. Like that. All right. I got so I I didn't realize the hour is up, guys. Everybody, uh, I tell you, we're gonna let's go ahead and say, Jake, we'll see you next week. I gotta go. We gotta go. So I'll say goodbye <coughs> to you now. But everybody else, one statement and out. Tito. You yep. go ahead. All I can man. say you is close the statement for the night. All I'm gonna say is nobody oh, knows boy. what's gonna be in the draft. Two. Niners for life, baby. You guys take it easy. Peace out. Oh, yeah. All right, baby. See you next week. Yep. See you guys. Brandon. Yeah. Anything you want right. to say before uh, we say goodbye? One thing I want to talk about, uh, this draft, if Colin Kaepernick stays and uh, say we don't draft a quarterback, um, I'm just looking up some of these uh, mock drafts and uh, what, what kind of projected, what will the draft look like for quarterbacks next year. Uh, our University of Tennessee quarterback Joshua Dobbs is set to be the third best quarterback and is also a Heisman candidate next year. He would fit in Chip Kelly's offense really easily, except our offense is more of a grinded out type of offense, less than a hurry up. So he's got skills. He might be he might be convertible though. All right. Mobile. Yeah. All right, Brandon. Thanks, bro. See you next time. All right. And Carlos. Hey, well, Carlos, the man who said that Tom Brady is a formula system quarterback. A puppet. Have you, had, have you got anything to add for the? <laughs> I <really> um, <laughs> not really. I just think that I just think that we shouldn't get golf. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't. Not that we shouldn't. I just don't see it happening. And I'm telling you guys, I don't think it's gonna happen. That we're just gonna keep Kaepernick. That's why I'm wearing his jersey. I think we're just gonna keep Kaepernick. That's because he fits in Chip Kelly's um in in his um offense. I think it'll go good. I, I, we're gonna we're gonna find out what's the date today. You know what? We're gonna find out what about the next ten days. Yeah, oh we're, really? We're, yeah, at the end of this month or April first. It's gonna be the Forty Nineers. It's all about the cash. Uh, it, that cash comes into a decision. So but Trent has said we're not going to cut him. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. So we'll find out uh, in another 10 days. So I guess that's going to be it. So, Carlos, do not put that jersey on eBay. It it could be okay. Man. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, Rambo. See you next week, bro. Easy.
See you guys. Right, you. Mark. Yo, what up, Rambo? Yeah, man. Hey, Mark, what, what do you want to say before we say goodbye? Me, personally, it sucks that, that you know, we have to wait until April 1st, which just happens to be April Fool's Day. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i just saying, it could be a really, really bad joke, and hey, everybody, you know, we're going to keep um, Kaepernick, but trade him during the draft, so, I mean... <laughs> That would be cold, cold, yeah. cold. My final thoughts, I really think that, you know, we honestly, like I said before, we're probably going to go defense in the first round. It's really um, defense heavy t in this draft. And if Buckner and um, Bosa, you know, get taken before seven, I mean, they're still Dodd. The good, and um, the, I forget his name, um, Shaq Lawson. Yeah, um, that's um, the two guys out of Clemson, so, I mean, it's pretty deep in defense. No, that's a good point. And a defensive rich draft class like we got this year, you got to be careful about picking out offensive players. They better be damn good. So I understand what you're saying there. All right. Yeah. All right, Rob. All right, bro. See you next time, huh? All right. Emilio! Yo, yeah. Emilio. Yeah. So, you have anything you want to say before we see you next time? I mean, everything was said. Uh, I agree with um, I mean, I, we need a quarterback because I still don't know this whole Kaepernick situation. We need to get one. But I know whatever we do in the first round is going to complement every other round from there. So, I know we might go back and forth on offense or defense. So, whichever way, uh, so it's either going to be opposite. If we go uh, offense, we're going to go defense next round. So, it's going it's to go back and forth on uh Office of defense. It just depends on what we pick first. You're absolutely right. Everything's going to pivot. Everything's going to pivot pretty much off of Colin Kaepernick. You're right. Absolutely right. All right, Emilio. See you next week, bro. Thanks for coming. All right. All right. Hey, Rombo. Hey, man. Um, so I was just thinking, like, you know, since since Balky made this splash hire of, uh, you know, with Chip Kelly as head coach, and this may or may not be his final year, maybe, you know, uh, second to last final year. I feel like he's got to make a splash uh, draft pick in the first round. So I think it, I'm thinking it has to be Goff, if anything, because if you, if you want to attract the fans to the stadium and to Levi's, I feel like even even if I don't, if it was like a defensive player that we drafted, it had to be like a super high caliber player, you know, to attract the crowd. So I think they're going to go quarterback with Goff, you know. I think that'll attract the, the, the fans to the stadium. But, but then, and then I don't know if, he's, if he would start right away or not. I don't know what Chip would be thinking if we did draft, draft him. So, I don't know. We just have to wait and find out. And to see if Kaepernick's still on the roster or not by then. Or if we trade him. That's a strong argument, though. Uh, the fans and everything else, as bad as Jed's popularity is right now, I hadn't even thought about that, Edge. You're right. Yeah. That could, I mean, that could have and, a... And, and York said, you know, when interviewed by a reporter saying, like, oh, like, how long is Chip going to be here for? And York even said, like, oh, Chip's going to be here for a long time, you know, with, like, a straight face. So, I yeah. mean, you know, shouldn't put, like, shouldn't, you know, <laughs> can't trust him all the way with that. But, but yeah, in fact, you, we've, if anything we've learned, we cannot trust York at all. No. <laughs> but maybe he'll, maybe he'll behave for now. He has to. Last year was traumatic for him. So, you right. know, I mean, yeah. flying. Fly, flying planes over <laughs> over the stadium while a game is going on. I, I wonder if they know where he lived, and they probably flew those planes over his house as well. So, <laughs> oh, <geez. you> know, <laughs> so. oh man! <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right bro. see you next week, bro. All right, all right bro. Uh, all right, Josh. Josh, did did Josh evaporate just at the at the? There he is, Josh. I think Josh, I think we lost transmission. I guess we'll see you next week. All right. So anyway, another collection of thoughts for this week as we approach the end of March. We'll be back next week. And you know, you know there's gonna be some more drama between now and next week. So plan on joining in. We'll be looking for you. <laughs> so between now and then, let me just say. <sighs> Lighter! Oh!